What's up guys, my name is Your Heroes and welcome back to more Gates of Hell and another how-to video and today we're going to be looking at how to play some multiple landmines, AP landmines and anti-tank mines as well. So if you do enjoy these type of videos make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new and make sure that notification bell and yes I do have my hat off today, you can actually see my ugly face it's yes it's a lot uglier up close in person but trust me it's uh this is the fact that you're behind the camera is your your eyes aren't burning which is good but you never know your eyes could still be burning that my face is still here <laughs> anyway besides the point guys um also we are on the way to a three thousand subscriber three thousand 2000 subscribers so guys we are almost there if we could if we could hit that before the end of the year that'd be absolutely amazing but other than that uh, let's just get straight into it so there are new there are two types of new units within the game your anti-personnel uh, units and your anti-tank units which i didn't know of until recently just reviewing this so if you go kind of down into your second uh, your special units here are the 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 single infantry you have you now have at AP miners and AT miners, which are which is really good because when you when you had when you had to place down these mine uh, the anti tank and the anti personnel miners, it all used to just be under the field engineer or an engineer truck, which it still is in the ear engineer truck. But if you wanted it just in person, it would be the field engineers. But now that you actually have separate ones, it's really good. So these are kind of two units that that you should really be looking out for. But let's say you are doing a defense mission and you really want to kind of spread them out as I have done here, which I've placed a loads of. So on this kind of side, uh, on the my left side here, uh, is the if we face sorry if we face it this way on the right side we have the anti personal mines and on the left the anti tank mines or actually sorry the other way around this is the anti personal mines and this is the anti tank mines and the only way you can actually really tell and I know it's really hard to tell because you can't really tell just from these wee green arrows these green arrows just represent that they are land mines or they are mines within this area i think barbara studio studios should or this gatesville should at least put some sort of sign to to tell the difference between the anti-personnel mines and the anti-tank mines but the only way you can do that if you just really zoom in and then you can see this is uh anti-personnel mine because it's a lot smaller and the anti-tank mines are slightly bigger and are more for tanks so the way that you can actually put down these two is that if you go like this and if you click on them and then click on the wee kind of the we see hammer and the spanner in the middle and then as you can see you have on the left side the anti-personnel mines and as you can see you have them kind of located right here but let's say you want to play multiple at once all you there's literally one button that you need to press is just shift and click and left click so as you can see i have six left so all i'll do is i press shift and then press one and as you can see it's still going two three four five six that and it's just left shift that is all that's all you need to do now people a lot of people make mistakes by just placing by just placing one and when you press one without the shift and as you can see the kind of the wee button goes away and the way you can tell us also it's an anti-personal or anti-tank is that the wee kind of picture shows up that this is a anti-tank mine and uh, over here you can see it's a wee anti-personal -pers uh, mine so you, that's the only way you can really tell difference when building it but when actually placed down i think bob riders need to kind of uh, really kind of need to separate separate that but that is all you do all you do is you just press one button which is the uh, which is sh left shift now as you can see we have some nice uh, volunteers that have volunteered themselves to um kill kill themselves i don't know go in the go in the anti go in the mines uh, this person here has volunteered so let's uh let's and also we do have a tank who again also volunteered themselves completely voluntary again this was not completely not forced at all and we'll just go this oh to boss he was actually meant to die hold on i wonder if i can just shoot it sorry missed no sorry missed you can't shoot it you just you i think okay this is sorry this this was not meant to be planned by the way this was not meant to be planned 
The volunteers have gotten very lucky, but you get the idea of how it's meant to work. Um, so yeah, that is how you do. That is how you place a multiple, uh, multiple landmines. I guess of anti-personnel and anti-tank mines, just with one button, which is left shift, uh, and that is it. So yeah, and that is really all there is. And just I really just want to do one more thing is just to kind of just blow blow everyone up with this 152 millimeter gun because I knew this video would be short. So I'm just kind of just just kind of just deciding just to kill everyone. So um yeah and uh, these guys are yeah these guys were meant to die um and they didn't so now they're just going to get hit with 152 millimeter so uh, good luck and save this <laughs> there you go uh, a lot actually was that was meant to be more impressive considering only four only one two three four. yeah this video did not uh, this video actually turned out for the worst i don't i generally thought this would have been a lot more impressive <laughs> but yeah um but yeah that's how you do it it's just left shift and uh, that's it yeah but there you go guys that is going to be it for today's video i i generally was trying to make a cool explosion because the the way that this gun really was it just looked powerful and i thought i'd be able to kill everything but it just didn't so i'm kind of now just awkwardly just talking now and it's just not necessary and i could be ending the video now but i kind of just want to blow everyone up so yeah and the longer i talk the longer i don't make sense and um, this is just gets quite frustrating so i need to kill this tank and hopefully this works That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, um, I hope you have a great week and the Conquest mission will continue on in the next couple of days. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. See you later and goodbye.